Yep, camera is rolling. Message of knowledge. Seek boredom and find creativity. Yes, that's right. Not knowing what to do is a blessing in disguise. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This channel is about live techno performances, motivational stuff and tech talk. So, I took some time off, planned to do something creative, sitting down, make some music, shoot some videos, nothing happens. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, it does to me and I'm encountering that problem every now and then and I think I have a solution to it and my solution is bore yourself to death yeah that's right bore yourself to death so now what I want to make, make music hit play on my dollar setup and nothing happens no ideas or things to dive into, making new sounds, everything just sounds bleh. And I don't know what to do. And I want, don't want to do anything else to, yeah, maybe turn on the PlayStation or some video games or whatever. Things that don't have anything to do with making music. And making music is the thing I'm want to get better at so what do I what do I do now well I think boredom is a blessing in disguise and here's why when you get bored your brain is not getting enough information and when that happens you or your brain will start to create information by itself like stories or just just notice what happens when your mind wanders off. You're thinking of things you never thought of or mostly don't think think of. And that's pretty interesting, right? And your mind creates the urge to do something because doing nothing all the time is just, well, just boring. So, I looked some things up. How does this work this mechanism and um, there was a uh, there's a lot of research done about it and you can find all things on the internet on YouTube and I read about a research there were two control groups and one of them had to do very boring things like copying phone numbers from a phone book or something I don't know exactly what it was again but after that, both groups were asked to solve a complex problem. And it turned out the group that had to do boring stuff before, they were much more creative in solving this problem. They can think outside of the box a little bit better. And they had more fun too. And, well, that says something about how boredom can be very useful i don't think you should be bored all the time because well that's going to stand in the way of productivity but it has its use and actually when i um needed to shoot a video uh, it turned out to be this video i didn't know what i was going to talk about and then it hit me sometimes you just do nothing so I walked a little bit around the house, pet my dog, sat at the table and resisted the urge to turn on the PlayStation or YouTube or Netflix or whatever. I walked the dog already, so I didn't have to do that either. Just stick to doing nothing. And then it came to me. I, I should make a video about it. So I grabbed my gear, set up um, some lights, my, my camera, and I shot some videos. 
And so the idea to make a video was born. A fun thing is when you're looking for motivational stuff on the internet, uh, a lot of people will say you have to work hard, you have to plan, you have to put, put in the miles. And I think that's, that's true. But what also is true, I think, is there's some magic 80-20 rule, right? Um, and I think it counts here too, to some extent. 80% is hard work, putting in the effort. The other 20 is, well, being creative, um, reflect on, your, on yourself and <clears throat> figuring out what to do. And when you figure it out what to do, then it's the, the other 80% and work hard, plan it out. Um, so I think being bored can be a good thing. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments. I'd like to know. So uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is the Novation Peak. I've um, had it before. I sold it and I regretted it suddenly because um, it, it's, it's so versatile and it sounds so good. It has an excellent effect section with a distortion, delay, chorus, reverb, a really nice, nice sounding reverb actually. It has excellent modulation capabilities beside the modulation matrix to envelopes, one NM amp envelope, um, three oscillators, um, and there's a lot of knobs on it, so it's very, very hands-on, and you don't have to use the menu that much. It's a really fast workflow. It can sound excellent. It has a few tricks up its sleeve, like oscillator drift, um, uh, some overdrive for the filter, um, and you can let it sound very analog. Uh, the, the, its oscillators aren't, aren't analog, actually. They're uh, Oxford oscillators, I believe they're called, and they're FPGA. Uh, but they're very stable, and I think that's a good thing. And you can make them unstable in the, in the menu if you want to. So uh, for pads, that's awesome. And I have a little trick. I use a lot for pads on Innovation Peak, and it uh, affects Oscillator 3 modulating the filter. So let's head, head over to the live set, and I'll show you. So, this is the Innovation Peak. Besides that it looks very cool, the black and the blue and the wooden uh, side cheeks, um, more a nice <coughs> metallic knob ends. It's a really, really pretty machine, I think. And it's a very capable machine. In this tutorial, we're going to recreate this patch uh, like the Novation Base Station. Um, this also has uh, a really neat function. You can see what the stored knob positions were. So, the track we're using today is, uh, is another track out of my live set, and it sounds like this. When we take out all of the other elements of this track, um, you'll notice um, the Novation is not, it's not a very impressive cinematic patch. It's actually a little bit thin. It has some warmth into it, but not too much and it's actually actually by choice because you don't want uh, the bottom end to fight in another video I explained why I want my low end 
very tight. I don't use very long notes, only if I want to. And you don't want... Uh, a pad is constantly playing and... Um, well, that can be a bad thing because if there's a lot of low end in this bad patch, um, the woofer is um, coming out all of the time and it's not, uh, the woofer from your speaker, it, it's not able to uh, give some nice definition in the low end to give the, the, those transients you, you, you need. Because you, it's, so you have to be very careful how much low end you put in a patch. But you can also hear it's there's some movement in this patch, and I open when I open up the filter. You can hear it's not static, and because the Novation Peak has a lot of uh, modulation options right at the front, it's it's very capable for ma making things feel alive and I want to uh, recreate this patch with you so let's initialize it um, bring down the filter a bit and now it sounds like this it bring down the filter I'm using a, a 20 dB filter uh, in this batch because I want it to sound a little bit darker and and mostly I use a 12 dB patch but in this case um, I prefer uh, a more darker tone I don't use resonance in this one um, so let's see turn up the oscillator one by oscillator 3 and that's gonna introduce all kinds of movement because LFO 3 is modulated by LFO uh, the oscillator 3 is modulated by LFO 2 uh, in pitch and now the pitch is 
of oscillator 3, which is moving by LFO2, is also modulating the, the filter. So it really starts coming to life. It's just it's just a pinch, but and now when we introduce a little bit of uh, a chorus. not to put too much reverb on it because as you know I'm a sucker for reverb well in the mod, mod matrix <coughs> I am reverting to the patch I made so let me stop it here I can see how I set it up. I level 3 is doing something with oscillator sync, V sync from oscillator 2. And there's nothing going on anymore. So the actual patch sounds like this. And in itself, it doesn't sound really special, but when you add the other elements, now it's facilitating this this ostinato effect, where you can it's, it's just playing a few notes, and the bass line is going up and down. Really atmospheric. I like it. So after this video, you know how I spice up my pads on Innovation Peak. Um, I'd like to know how you uh, spice up pads and bring them to life. I think you know why it is important to get bored every now and then and how to get past that writer's block as they call it so if you like this channel please consider subscribing hit the like button in the end of this video i will do a little live jam and i hope you like it bye bye